I'm blonde now. <laughs> hey guys, yes, I am finally back on YouTube. I know that I wasn't on YouTube for like two months or so. It was due to not having a camera. And I just really wanted to give you guys quality content with an HD camera and so I finally did and so here's this video. I'm going to be doing the 25 facts about me challenge today plus a Q&A because I asked you guys on Snapchat and Instagram for some questions that you guys had and I would answer them. Let's get started. So let's get started on the 25 facts about me challenge. I asked you guys on Snapchat and Instagram if you guys had any questions because I was doing a Q&A today um, to just send them in and comment them below and you guys greatly did leave me a couple of questions so I'm going to be including those questions in this video today so the first question here is what is your middle name my middle name is Cristel my full name is Norelli Cristel Cortez yeah <laughs> what is your favorite subject at school so I'm currently enrolled in college um, I'm a freshman in college so I would say at the very moment it would have to be English um, I'm not the best at math, so that's probably like the least favorite that I have. Um, but otherwise, throughout high school and stuff in middle school, I really, really, really loved English. So that would probably still be it. The third question is, what is your favorite song at the moment? Okay, so my favorite song at the very moment. So I don't know if you guys know who Kalani is. But I love her so so much. Her song Honey is like one of my favorite songs right now. So I'll play you guys some of that. I like my girls just like I like my honey. Sweet little selfie. Cause I'm a beautiful wreck. A colorful Kalani's um, Honey. That's probably like my favorite song at the moment. What is your favorite food? So fact number five, my favorite food of all time is probably Italian food. Anything Italian is my favorite. That's from like pastas to pizza, just anything, like anything that's Italian. Um, I actually read on like line that pizzas are considered Italian, I guess, to Americans, but that's not like their main dish. So, but anything Italian or anything that's considered Italian to Americans or just anything that seems Italian, I really like it. The sixth question is, um, what is the last thing I bought? So the last thing I bought was actually a book and it um, is called Pillow Talk, I believe. It's a really good book. It's a poetry book. Um, if you guys have not checked out, you guys should definitely check that out. Um, I don't really remember right now at the very moment what the author's name was but i will definitely leave a link to buy the book seventh question favorite book of all time so my favorite book of all time would probably have to be i think it's called sunflowers and her i think that's what it's called um again i really don't know the author but i will leave that below it's also a poetry book so pretty sure a lot of my viewers would really really like it so my favorite colors everybody knows if you don't know me then you don't know this but if you do know me my favorite color of all time is burgundy or any kind of red um do i have any pets yes i have pets i have a lot of dogs i don't i can't even count how many dogs i have but i have a lot of dogs um i used to have a cat and his name was romeo but unfortunately he passed away um he actually got like paralyzed he had this disease and stuff so he passed away and so that's that. Next question is my favorite perfume. So my favorite perfume of all time right now would have to be Circus by Britney Spears. So if anybody was wondering why it smells so good, it's probably because I'm wearing Circus by Britney Spears. Favorite holiday. So if you know me, then you obviously know that my favorite holiday is Halloween. I really, really love Halloween. I don't know what it is. I just love October. I'm born in October, so I love it so much and it just brings me so much joy. So I really, really love um, Halloween. Am I married? Um, to Harry Styles, maybe. I don't know. I can you guys tell? It's pretty, right? 
no, I'm not married. Um, I hope to be one day though. That'd be really cool. Um, but no, not married. <laughs> Next question is, have you ever been out the country? And if so, how many times? So yes, I have been out of the country. I've actually been to Jamaica. I've been to Miami. Um, I can't really remember. I've been to a lot of places actually. Oh, I've been to Seattle, Washington. Um, I know I've been other places. I just can't really think off the top of my head right now. But the main ones that I do really remember is Jamaica, Miami, and Seattle. Um, Seattle would have to be like my number one though. Like I love Seattle so much. Do you speak another language? Yes. I speak Spanish, but I'm not that fluent in Spanish. I do speak Spanish when I'm comfortable around the person. I won't really speak Spanish if I'm asked to speak Spanish, but in the cases that I really need to communicate with my family, non-English speaker, and I really, really need to say something, then I will speak Spanish. Otherwise, you will not catch me speaking Spanish at all because I'm kind of embarrassed and I'm really shy about it. So yes, I do speak Spanish, but I wish I was a little more fluent in it than, you know, most of my family. So, yeah. So the next question is, how many siblings do you have? Um, I have three siblings. They're all little to me because I'm the oldest. Um, one brother, his name is Adriel. He's a freshman in high school. Uh, then I have a little one and he is, I believe, is he still, I think he's still in preschool. If Yeah, he's still in preschool. His name is Aiden, um, and he is four years old. Then I have my little sister, Annalise, and she is nine. She's nine. I don't, I think she's nine. <laughs> if my mom's watching this, I'm so sorry. If you're watching this, Annalise, I'm so sorry. I think she's nine, um, and she is in the fourth grade, I believe. Yeah, fourth grade. Um, she actually did a show recently, so I'm really proud of her. So, go you. Okay, so next question is, what is your favorite shop? My favorite shop. I haven't really, like, been shopping lately. But I think that if I would have, like, an ultimate... Just, I don't know. Um, probably Urban Outfitters. I really love that place. Um, it's really expensive, but I just really like it because there's just so many things in there. And... It's really nice to go in there, I don't know. I really like Urban Outfitters. So I just feel like they have a very, like, variety. How do you say that, variety? I don't know, they have a lot of stuff in there. Um, favorite restaurant. So my favorite restaurant would have to be Olive Garden. Um, I honestly have not been to Olive Garden recently because I am actually dairy free. Uh, I don't eat dairy at all and I don't drink dairy, nothing like cheese, milk, nothing like that. I don't because it just it's, upsets my stomach and it causes me to have acne, so I don't drink or eat dairy. When is the last time I cried? The last time I actually cried was probably earlier when I was watching La La Land. I was recommended by somebody to watch that movie, and it was so, 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 so good. It's really emotional, the movie's emotional. Um, but watch it, I'm not gonna give anything away, so just watch the movie and you'll understand why. Favorite blog? Honestly, I don't really have a favorite blog, if I'm being honest. I. I don't really like look at blogs unless it's like Tumblr then that's different but even on Tumblr I don't really like uh, I don't really like have a favorite or anything like that so I just go on Tumblr to repost pictures so that's it next question is my favorite movie my favorite movie of all time has always been The Perks of Being Wallflower. Um, recently, Blue is the Warmest Color. That is such a good movie. If you guys have not seen it, please watch it. It's really good. I really love watching independent films, so I'd say that that's a really, really good movie. It really touches my heart. It's such a good movie. Um, yeah. Favorite TV show. Okay. So I love Riverdale, okay? I love Riverdale so, so, so much. If you know me, again, you know that I love Riverdale. Besides Riverdale, it would go into like The Vampire Diaries, um, The Carrie Diaries, so many diaries, <laughs> um, and Pretty Little Liars, Ghost Whisperer. I love all those types of shows. I love anything that's like paranormal or romantic or comedy. I really love like The Office, um, Parks and Rec. So anything like that is just my go-to. Anything that seems independent or anything of that sort, um, whether it's a show or film, I really love it and I support them so much because I feel like it's really hard to be um, in that area of film and stuff. The next question is PC or Mac? So I'm not gonna say PC, 
just for the sake that I have an Apple laptop, I have a MacBook Pro, so I'm not gonna say PC because I love my Mac so much. What phone do you have? I have right now, oh, you can't really see, but it's the iPhone 6. <laughs> this is my phone. It's not focusing. Um, how tall are you is the next question. How tall am I? I am 5'2". So here's the problem. I was 5'3". I went to the doctors recently and somehow I shrunk. So now I'm 5'2". But, you know, for the sake of any modeling agencies that are watching my video, I'm 5'3". <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it was an error in them because last time I checked I was 5'3". But I guess for the sake that I went to the doctors and they told me I shrunk, I guess I'm 5'2". So either way, if you meet me in person, you're the judge of that. You'll say if I'm 5'2", 5'3". Last question is, can you cook? So, I can cook to my advantage if I want to cook. Otherwise, I'm not in the kitchen and I don't like cooking. That was 25 facts about me. So now we're gonna head into the Q&A. So first we're going to head into Instagram. I'm a picture of me. So, <laughs> I opened it and it was a picture of me already. Um, This is actually somebody else's post. <laughs> it was uh, my hair transformation. That was my hair transformation from when I had it like really black to then copper and then now blonde. So really, really like my hair. Shout out to Maria that did my hair. I will leave her Instagram below if you want your hair dyed. I really loved how she, my hair came out. So go follow her and make an appointment because she's really good. So let's look at the questions I got on Instagram. So this is from Honey Lore. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> um, she said, how long have you been an inspiring singer? Since I was like five years old, I don't know, like five, six, seven. Um, and that's around the time that Disney Channel had a lot of like Camp Rock, the Jonas Brothers, Demi Lovato. Um, but ever since then, I've always wanted to sing. I, I guess that's what I've always known that I can do. And I really enjoy it so much and it's my passion. Um, so the next question comes from Nat and then to Ali, so Natalie, um, and she said, how do you milk almonds? So, actually I will be doing a tutorial on how to milk almonds soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm not really doing one, but um, I don't know. Ask the almond milk uh, facilities, the company, I don't know. So another question was, again from Honey Lore, uh, she says, where are you originally from and where do you live now? So I'm originally from LA. Um, I live now in the Antelope Valley, which kind of sucks because I don't really like it here. Um, but, you know, it has its perks. I've met amazing people here, so I'm forever grateful. The next question, who's the main person that inspired you to start singing and who made you want to be a Ford model? So those are two different questions in like one comment, but I'll answer them both. Um, the main person that inspired me to sing was in fact my queen, Demi, oh, my queen Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato has definitely inspired me since a young, young age. Um, she is basically everything to me. Um, ever since I watched Camp Rock, I kind of saw myself in her. Um, she was very shy in the movie, so I was seven and I was like, that's so me. And ever since then, I've really looked up to her and through everything that she's ever been through in her career, I really, really can relate. And I just really think that she's a really strong individual woman. And so Demi Lovato would definitely be the person that inspired me to start singing. Next question was, who made you want to be a Ford model? So there's actually a particular model that I really love. Actually, two of them are the people that really inspired me to want to pursue modeling and just be a model or you know like try out for anything that has modeling hey, uh, Taylor Allard sorry and Justine Bitcon I don't know if I'm pronouncing either one right but I really really love those girls both this is Taylor she's very beautiful I love her so 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 much I think she's such an amazing person I've talked to her on occasion of like a few times not really as often but i've talked to her a couple times and i dm'd her and told her how much she meant to me and then we have justine 
Everybody probably knows who she is. Um, she's a really beautiful model. I've talked to her plenty of times and she's so so positive and such a beautiful beautiful person so go follow them as well um they're my biggest inspirations when it comes to some modeling and i love them so so much i love the message that they just speak and i just can't thank them more for being such good role models when it comes to modeling because i feel like it's a very tough job to have in that industry and i feel like there's a lot of pressure from everybody around you and the fact that they are beautiful and amazing amazing models i think that you know they deserve all the credit in the world because you know it's a really hard industry so they would be the girls that made me want to start Ford models and stuff because they're both signed to them so do you go to school yes I go to school <laughs> yes I do what's your favorite kind of nut is the next question that's from user Ray Young. <laughs> Okay, um, so my favorite kind of nut, and she put in parentheses, almonds, walnuts, or pecans. So if I'm choosing between those three, it'd probably be, um, almonds and pecans. But, you know, I'm not really big on walnuts, I guess. <laughs> the next question is from Reaper Mike. Uh, he said, is water wet? And then he also said, slight a shout out, you'll make my life. So shout out to you, Mike. <laughs> um, is water wet? Is water dry? Come back to me with that. Answer me that and we'll get down to the discussion. The last two questions are from little underscore thicky underscore. Uh, and she said, how do you become such a bad, bad bitch? Um, and what are some tips on becoming a bad bitch as the kids put it? Uh, strut your stuff, make sure that you know who you are don't don't simp over anybody just you know don't cry over anybody just be you and <laughs> i don't know um my biggest tip honestly on being somebody that's i guess an influencer or a role model to anybody in all seriousness is probably just to be yourself and to be honest with the world and what you give out and just to be you you know as an artist and as a youtuber and as anybody that you are on a platform of any like any kind I think it's really important to be yourself and not to give off a false image that you know that you're not so that is my biggest tip on being a bad yeah <laughs> um, so those are the questions from Instagram now I got a few from snapchat someone asked you have a YouTube channel yes I have a YouTube channel that was from Pablo Escobar Yes, I do have a YouTube channel. You're watching it right now. So your question just got put in my video. So now you know. The other question would be biggest musical inspiration. So this is from Dixie Reb 97 on Snapchat. So my biggest musical inspirations would have to be um, definitely Demi Lovato, Kalani and Paramore, and any female artist, honestly, that's really independent. But I think my number one would be Demi Lovato. Okay, so I also got um, a question from Brandon. Um, hi. His questions were, do you have any fetishes? So I don't have fetishes. I mean, maybe one and it's probably with like hands. Like, um, But as far as anything else, I don't really think I do. Um, the next question was, what do you find sexy in a guy? Um, what do I find sexy in a guy? Humor, sense of humor, intelligent, you know, intellectual, can hold a conversation. Um, and just knows his stuff and isn't, you know, too cocky or anything like that because I think that's a really big turn off for me. Um, but somebody that can be themselves in front of me is really, really nice and that's pretty much all I can say. <laughs> and the last one, would you date me? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. But shout out to you, Brandon. Thank you for watching my videos and being so, so supportive. So I did get some questions off of um, Instagram and Snapchat and it was two people in particular that wanted to ask me some questions. One is from Abby and she asked me, <laughs> what is it like to be a Cuban princess? Um, I don't know, <laughs> but thank you for calling me a Cuban princess. I love you so much and I miss you so, so much. Um, if you guys didn't know, my friend Abby, um, she previously has done has done some coverage with me. 
She is uh, back from Nicaragua and I'm so so excited. So thank you for your question, Abby. I love you so so much and I miss you so so much. Like, can't wait to see you. Um, and then the other questions I got was a few um, and it was from Kirsten. Hi, Kirsten. <laughs> what is your favorite pastime? Uh, my favorite pastime would probably be to do covers or to watch YouTube videos. I love getting ideas from other YouTubers. I think they're so original sometimes and it's just really cool to watch other YouTubers um, do videos and do what they love. So I like to do watch YouTube videos or to sing. I actually have gotten this question a lot. Um, to drop a skincare routine, so I actually think that I will, you know, in the next coming videos, will do a skincare routine video. I don't do much, but I just, I guess everybody really wants to know how I get my skin to look like this. Um, my skin is not perfect. I'm not going to be false advertising like, oh, I got perfect skin. That I break out just as much as anybody else does when I don't take care of my skin and when I'm not eating healthy, I'm not the way I'm supposed to. So I still will drop the skincare routine. But um, that would not be right now, that would be, you know, in another video. Uh, and why are you so hot? Oh, thank you so much. Um, thank you. Uh, I am so bad at accepting compliments, honestly. But thank you so much for thinking that I'm hot. Um, it really flatters my heart. So, thank you for your guys' questions. I really, really appreciate it. And I love you guys so, so, so much. That's a wrap. Those are all the questions I've got today and some facts about me that you probably did not know But now you know them. So thank you so 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 much for watching my new video Um, I know that I really hadn't made videos in a what like two months And I'm so so sorry for that, but I now have a new camera So expect way more videos soon. I have so many ideas coming to mind and so many ideas written down So I will be doing more videos and as always every Monday and Wednesday are my upload days Till then, thank you so so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for everybody that's stayed with me and subscribed to me. Whether you're you don't like my videos, whether you do, whether you're a, a new subscriber or not. If you're new, welcome. I'm Norelli and I hope you stay long. And I love you guys so so much. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.